Today, we press state hospital officials for answers, wanting to know why the public was notified nearly 12 hours after Saito left the facility. Manola Morales asked the tough questions. Manola? Joe Hospital administrators tell us they notify the Department of Public Safety right away when a patient is missing so the public can be informed. But the timeline of how things happened doesn't show that. According to the Department of Public Safety, Randall Saito was supposed to check in at 11 a.m. on Sunday. HPD's Crime Stoppers gave a surveillance video of Saito leaving the state hospital around 9 a.m. DPS tells us that sheriffs were notified at 8.30 p.m. and the Nixle alert to the public came out 10 minutes later. You just see then that there's, there's a big gap here and that that big gap, those several hours before the notification, probably allowed this man to get away probably out of the state because of that gap. Uh, there are a lot of things that may have happened which may have allowed it to occur. All of those have to be understood thoroughly. Hospital administrators tell us they can't really say why there was that gap until Saito is apprehended and the criminal investigation is finished. When those two pieces are done, apprehension and criminal investigation, then there will be an opportunity to review the administrative dimensions and to figure out answers to the good questions that you're asking. But notifying the public is something that you had admitted to in years that you're, you're working to improve. And we, yes. and and we, and we continue and to. And obviously there, we have room. Officials point out that they did notify the Department of Public Safety as soon as they noticed Saito was missing. As soon as we realized that someone is gone, we notify public safety right away and they put the Nixell alert out and then it goes out via the, the system to anybody who signed up for text messaging. We also wanted to know why security cameras were not able to alert them when Saito left the hospital. There are a bank of monitors, there's hundreds of cameras, and you know, you'll be looking at different cameras. Um, had somebody seen him walk away, then obviously they would have sounded the, uh, the alarm. But there are people monitoring the cameras? There is, yes. Mm -hmm. How many? One. Of so many cameras, only one person, though, is monitoring yes. them? Yes. Now, HPD tells us that it was notified by a hospital staff member of the escape at 7.30 Sunday night. But it's still not clear when the staff knew that Saito was missing. We also asked if Saito might have gotten some help from someone from the hospital. Officials say appropriate steps will be taken if that is determined. Now, we have posted the entire press conference on our website, khon2.com. Joe, back to you. Manolo, thank you. Over the years, Saito filed numerous motions requesting unescorted off-ground passes, all of which were denied. According to court records, in his most recent request in 2015, two of the three doctors who evaluated him found Saito mentally unfit. The report says assessments in the past have shown problems with lack of empathy, lack of remorse, and failure to accept responsibility. The report adds that Saito continues to be superficial in his relationships with others and manipulative. The doctors assess Saito as a moderate risk of danger to the community unless under strict supervision.